Hello everyone, my name is Tejasvi and you are watching GoForGuy. Well, this is the first video on my channel and uh, I have planned to start giving tutorials on cloud native softwares which are already out there. Uh, this series might help you, you know, to get a good understanding on those uh, softwares and uh, I'm starting out with Uber Cadence series. Well, if you're watching it for the first time, uh, I request you to please hit that subscribe button to get notified on my upcoming uh, tutorial series and well without wasting any time let's get started so the first topic that we are going to cover is of uber cadence this is the entire series on uber cadence and uh, i will cover each and everything about it how to code it how to test it and how to run it in productions as well well uh, if you we talk about uber cadence what exactly it is uber cadence is a kind of a workflow orchestrator okay now there are two terms that came up here okay one is the workflow and second one is the orchestrator if you talk about workflows, what is the workflow? Workflow is something like a series of steps that you have to follow in order to uh, achieve a particular goal. Okay. So, for example, if you take an example of making a tea, okay, how you make a tea? You use, you know, water, you mix uh, tea uh, leaves into it, and then you add milk to it if required, and then you add to sugar, and then, you know, heat it on the um, on the stove for a specific time and then at the end you just you know filter out those leaves and get the final result at tea so all these steps you can uh, call it as a workflow and if you talk about an orchestrator okay orchestration is something like all the bits and pieces that are working together in order to achieve a specific result just similar in the case of music okay when we compose a music there are different bits and pieces of it like one person is singing another one is uh, doing the drums the other one is playing the guitar and all of them are in sync so that they can achieve a specific result okay that's what an orchestrator is and if you talk about this uber cadence it orchestrates those workflows okay so uh, for further you know understanding it let me just uh, you know uh, show you this uh, a specific uh, slide for that a uh, use case uh, so you can understand it better okay so the first and the foremost scenario is when you are when you you know hired a cab to get somewhere and you are giving a tip to a driver right how you are you know if you write a program about it how you are going to execute it so it can be a single simple function right it can be a simple function where you have to perform tip operation okay how this tip operation may go you first have to debit from the account of the user and then you have to credit on the account of the driver well while writing this function it can be the simple function but when actually executing them it's not as simple as you think okay there are a lot of edge cases that we have to handle in order to you know achieve this result successfully now what are those edge results okay what happens if the debit from the user's account is successful but the credit on the driver's account is failed after all <clears throat> when performing the transfers while doing the payment services it all dependent on the external services which are given by the bank okay what if the calls to the apis uh, to the rest endpoints of the bank services are uh, are not happening properly if their services are down down and at any point of time this may create failures in your workflows right so what will happen when the debit is successful but the credit is failed this may lead to an inconsistent state right this credit must go back to the account of the user from which the debit is happened right we have to handle that so what do you think what might be the solution for this problem a simple solution is that we can introduce a database okay what database does Database will handle, uh, you know, a specific state uh, on that. So when the debit happened, we push uh, to the database and say, hey, the debit from the user is successful. And this is the latest updated state. And when we are going to do the credit, we can push the same thing to the database as well. And, uh, you know, we can say that the credit is successful or failed. And accordingly, we can, you know, perform the edge cases. But introducing this can increase a lot of uh, you know complexities in our code our small piece of program which is going to operate 
will become so much complex that it will be difficult to handle in future and you know difficult to scale as well so uh, let's take a look on that so suppose we have to you know introduce a database in here when we are doing the debit from the user what we have to do we have two options either first we update the db and then perform the debit or we perform the debit and then update the db now uh, let's dig deep inside it what happens when this update db is failed at that point of time the debit will not be happening why because the error came up at update db and my and my code won't continue update db is something which is this error is caused because of either uh, the error in the logic that the that the programmer has written some sort of error in the update db section or the database is down the program is not able to reach the database at that point the debit will not happen just because of the infra problems in the second case when we put the debit first and then the update db second what happens let's suppose the debit is successful but update db is failed at that point the inconsistencies comes up again and a similar scenario goes with the credit thing okay update db is successful but credit is failed again it leads to inconsistencies so how we can solve this problem how we can solve this and scale it out to a massive right it will be a little bit you know complicated so for that purpose uber uh, you know you know uber very well right they have the cash, cab services all around the world they have this uh, you know foods food delivery services for that <clears throat> so this might be you know um, so they need something which is reliable for that purpose okay so what they have built they have built this tool called cadence okay what cadence does ex actually cadence makes sure that the function that you are writing actually runs okay so uh, if we take a look on this function, you can see that we have this perform tip operation, right? Cadence will make sure that the debit user happens. Okay, it should not fail anyhow And it will also make sure that after debit user is successful credit driver will also happen Okay, so what happens when we do this when I mean if you uh, you know um, take a soft take a help of a software which can manage all these complexities separately we can you know definitely focus on the business logic that we are going to handle and uh, it will be quite you know easy to write those business logic uh, just you know ignoring the edge cases that will be handled by the cadence itself so that's the purpose now how cadence works actually it doesn't understand the function directly okay a function suppose the tip operation it will be called as a workflow which contains a series of steps that are going to execute it okay so tip operation workflow it's a workflow the f and whatever the individual functions that we are calling in between like the debiting the user and then creating the driver these functions will be known as the activities individual activities okay so debit user activity and credit driver activity each activity has the specific you know uh, variables and uh, constants that we can modify in order to achieve a successful result like we can do that if the activity is not successful for example if the debiting is not happening within a certain limit then you have to retry okay now there might be cases like uh, throttling of apis in that case we can set up hey please uh, you know retry after this interval you know exponentially so um this Uber Cadence is a, a lot helpful tool and you know it is so good that it can run on a production on a mass in production on a massive scale so uh, further upcoming in the in this series I will be explaining about the workflows activities how to code them how to test them and specifically I will be telling in Golang but the APIs are quite good the SDKs are quite good and you can explore it in other languages as well Right now, Golang is supported and Java is supported, but uh, they are actively developing for Python and uh, other languages as well. So that is it for this video. Uh, we will, uh, you know, meet in the next one. Thank you so much.